We are back, baby. For reals this time. And, uh... We're at 83.4% now. That I've finished, uh... The progress recovery from... The last crash. So... We now officially, canonically, have all of the stop and goes complete. With gold. So, all that remains are five tournaments. That's the wrong button. No, I don't want to enter that. All that's done. All that's done. All that's done. And we have 15 time trials and 10 races. So, yeah. And all of these, everything but the tournaments are at the rally uh, courses, so we are in fact getting there, yeah. So, uh, I guess without further ado, let's get a little warm up going here. Um, do I want to do time trial to warm up? Do time, let's warm up with the time trial, why not? So, let's do, let's go ahead and buy these first three tarmac challenges at Water Bridge. Pretty cheap, 3100 RFP to 9400 to 15,600. So, um, yeah, let's just do this. Let me drive a Rally 2 car for this. The gold time is a 42.2. So I have a feeling we're doing, like, maybe not the exact half stage section from the, uh, like, I think it was chapter 3 of the story mode, but around there. What car do I want to use? Use the Alpine. The Alpine A110 rally car. That's not... not that one. That one. Alright. Let's go! For our first event proper tonight. Yeah, what that, that that yeah. Whatever you said there, just the zero. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, I just realized I wonder I wonder if the game has like course out penalties for this. And how strict they are. There's no co driver. That could also be a pain in the ass. There's a Reese up though. Kitty Vault, idiot. Thank you, Cam. 49 months. That's like more than more than 20 months. Holy shit. What was the gold time for this? 42 point something. I got silver. That's at least three months. For so long. It's been a long time. Okay, I was 42-2, so... I forgot what grass feels like. Same TBH. Alright, so we got a lot of time to make up here. Um, that was a pretty sloppy run, so... Hopefully, I can make up 1.6 seconds without too many issues here. Hopefully. What is Garce? Ooh. Not a good start. Okay. Oh, that Alpine, it is, sure is. That's a wall. This freaking S-Bin is so deceptively tight. 
Kind of reminds me of the S hairpin from uh, Grand Valley. All right, that was a much better run. There we go. Second try, gold. S car. It sure happened. That sure was a thing. Did it. See the update teaser. I uh, saw the silhouettes and like discussion. Unfortunately, no pitches. Man, I'm sad that the guy I wanted to win was eliminated, but. Oh well. I was really hoping for that big heel promo. Alright, so that was number one. On to challenge number two. Is absolutely going to be the full stage because, uh, yeah, sector time, race time. So race time is the full stage. Two minute thirty-five. Yes, yeah, Dennis the Menace. You're so fucking back. <laughs> uh, what car do I want to drive? I mean, yeah, also, but I really wanted him to win. I, I really wanted him to cut just the most scathing heel promo at Phoenix. So, I'm bummed. However, we are so fucking back. Let's go. Uh, let's go Team RB. his year. He'll do what we, he wasn't allowed to do last year, and that's win at Phoenix. I have a feeling uh, they're going to drop a new track, because, like, big update. They're not just going to, like, I feel like they're going to dump more than just, like, the fucking, like, seven or ten cars that they revealed. Oh, you're supposed to slow down for that turn, by the way. Did you know that you're supposed to, like, slow the car down in order to make corners? You know, the stage is actually a little bit more difficult without a co-driver guiding me. I gotta say, even though I've driven this several times now in this game, and I have a map, <laughs> they don't. Yeah, I'm not going to be disappointed if they don't. But I have a suspicion. Like, is the update ruined if we don't get a new track? Absolutely not. Stop being so needy and greedy, you fucking virgins. I'm driving like garbage ass. I think those hundreds of hours playing WRC games, I would have learned something. Or if they dropped the fucking Lingaro ring. Dude, I can't wait for high speed link. just high speed ring with a different aesthetic. Round 11 are giving death. So death or death? Right, that was definitely not gold. Yeah, no.
It was unearthed. Okay, so two and a half seconds I gotta improve by. Is red rock really rocks? <laughs> Complex string, no. Miss me with that. I'm gonna. I've said this a trillion times. I'm gonna say it again. Complex string is not a racetrack. Why is my Google sheet just not inputting what I'm typing? Complex string is sure is a complex complex uh, car testing course. Like, the track literally exists to test all the different, like, steering functions of the car. How it reacts. Take it up. Yeah. It's not their fault Seattle decided to bulldoze the route that was used for the circuit. Skill issue, Lamal, L plus ratio. Yeah, just add the snake tracks to GT7. The Forza snake tracks. They're gonna add Jacques Villeneuve to the game. Not as a driver, but they're going to add some of Jacques' music to the game. That's it. That's what they're doing with the update. <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> oh, shit. Also, I agree, Leah. Well, I kind of like the snake tracks. There's, like, test courses and the, like, small, small layouts were pretty neat, like, club circuits, I guess. But overall, meh. In terms of racing circuits, it's, like, complex ring. It's, it's not a race track. It's a test track that the game uses for racing. In Forza's case. Yeah, King Cobra can, can sucks cheeks. Honestly, all I can think of nowadays... Uh, when I think of the Forza Snake tracks, I got gold, uh, is the fucking, like, old-ass Forza Motorsport 2, um, like, eSports e competition, uh, where, ev like, the finalists were all driving Speed 12s at a layout of the Snake tracks and just not using their brakes <laughs> It was it was a demo derby, and that was like the highest tier of Forza Esports. It was fucking disgusting, really. Not even like hilarious, just disgusting. Alright, so that was the full stage. Now we get to do the fun obstacle course. Oh boy. What are they gonna... God, what shit are they gonna add to, like, slap on the track here? Kind of scared. I'm gonna drive the Subaru for this one. Yeah, yeah. The snake tracks never came back after Motorsport Two. For the three, added the uh, uh, yeah, the new test facility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, airfield or whatever. Alright. I gotta actually pay attention to what I'm doing here because there's probably gonna be cones and shit at, lined up everywhere. I see them. Here we go. Time for nearly three minutes of cone dodging. 
E. A Sports. WRC. Oh, I hit a cone. God damn it. Alright. I hit another cone. I was falling apart very quickly. That's probably lost about like 10 seconds. No one cares about the data mine. Who, like, who genuinely cares? Only people who have never touched grass in their life. Yeah, there's a data mine for GT7, but you don't really hear about it because the only person that pe person or people that data mine the game are doing it for the sake of clout. Because they're a bunch of crybaby virgins. Not being... Oh! Okay. Uh, do not go full throttle over the jump. There are cones there. I see. I'm just saying. I don't give a fuck. And be like, the data mine doesn't have this. Sorry. Like, okay. I'll let you know when I start carrying. Yeah. I like to play video games. I mean, it is, like, files within the video game, so... It, it's, it's definitely, it's a step above random speculation, like, these are actual, like, files and shit in the game. So, their accuracy is not surprising. I just don't care. I want, I want Polyphony to surprise me. The only time I've ever cared about data mines is Pokemon. And that's just because it helps me, like, find and evolve shit easier. Alright, so I hit a lot of cones in that run. And, uh... Yeah. We'll just, uh, try to do better this time. Oh my god, my spreadsheet's allowing me to type, okay. I keep wanting to, like, trying to, like, drive faster. And it's causing me to hit more cones. Yeah, no, fucker, uh... Hit up my Twitter DMs. It's like, hey, I just released GT4 Randomizer. You want to play it before the public release? Um, I was asleep during this time. I have timestamps as well. Uh, I was asleep during this time because I was during my, you know, I, I was asleep. When I wake up, uh, I check. I, I rarely ever check my Twitter DMs, especially now that I don't use Twitter. Um, and I checked my Discord, and I got a ping from someone in Discord saying, Hey, uh, this person, I guess this person contacted you, or, no, I don't think he said that. Hey, this person asked me, ad, ad fucker, uh, asked me if you were, to ask you if you were interested in playing his, uh, GT4 mod. Like, what? <laughs> I think he might have mentioned something about my Twitter DMs. So I went to check my Twitter DMs. I looked at it, and then I compared the timestamps to when the Twitter DM was post was sent, and the the uh, message was sent in my Discord server. It was less than two hours. 
The fucking pee pee piss piss baby is so hungry for clout they don't have the patience to wait two hours from a response for some from someone. So yeah, no. I hope they get named and shamed and blacklisted from the entire GT modding. Well, not just the modding community, just the entire internet. Yeah, I saw, like... Yeah, it's, it's a scare tactic. It's, it's, you know what? It reminds me of Yawn Death. As soon as someone someone else tried to do something similar to what he was doing, he started making threats at that person to get them to stop. It's the same behavior. GT Planet was a mistake. This is not going to be a goal. Oh, or is it? It is! Yes! I barely missed that last cone. If I hit that last cone, that was not a goal. There we go. <laughs> what homeschooling does to a motherfucker zero? Yeah, I just want to play video games. I'm glad there's at least, like, a good GT mod by not terrible people that's being developed in the form of the GT2 A-spec. I am grateful for that. And I know... I'm, I'm so irrelevant, so nothing I say will get to any people who... any ears of people who need to hear this shit. So they'll continue to, uh... Have a stranglehold until other people realize eventually. Which they won't. Because they're all like, ooh, GT4. Yeah. Honestly, if I cared enough about playing GT mods, I would absolutely play GT2 A spec. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep doing time trials. Fuck it. We'll just keep doing the time trials, so... Those were the tarmac challenges. We got... Three gravel challenges, a windmill hill. Let's go ahead and purchase those. 31, 94, 15, 6. Alright. So, first challenge is a segment challenge in class 2. Isn't done. Nah, homeschooling sucks. I should know I was homeschooled for the second half of my education. Look how I turned out. Uh, the answer is terrible. I'm gonna drive the Julia. Listen, at least I'm aware that I'm terminally online. Hairstyle turned out fine. Shout out to the one random YouTube comment I got uh, saying that I should fire my barber. I'm surprised it took like two-ish years for someone to talk shit about my hair. But it finally happened. Anyways, moral of the story is, uh, go touch grass, talk to people in, like, face-to-face. -face. Please, I'm begging you. Eh, silver. Okay. I felt like I was taking that a little slow. So, silver, not surprising, really. Uh, oh, like, 
less than a tenth and a half off. Okay. I just got to improve by the tiniest of margins. Okay. So, what have we learned here, chat? Uh, barrel rolling the car is actually detrimental to my uh, to the time trial. I lose time instead of gain it. So maybe don't roll the car again. Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright, that was a lot better and a lot shallower, so I'm not edging myself and then rolling the car. And there we go. Alright. All I had to do was just drive less bad and not roll the car. What I did there was drive less bad and not roll the car. And I beat the gold by nearly two seconds. Sheesh. Hey, no, co no course outs. Let's go. I didn't go off track. Fast. Clean. Alright, on to number 30. Gravel Challenge 2, so this is for the full stage. I assume in a Rally 1 car, yeah. Um, let's see. I caught all three medals for that. Uh, that's right, the only Rally 1 car to buy was the Focus. Forgot about that. I thought there was an Evo I could buy for some reason. Nope. Okay. Well, let's do this. And the car I choose this time, I guess, is going to be the Focus. Why not? Ford Focus. So now we got to do the full gravel stage unguided. This ought to be interesting. And quickly. Unguided and quickly. Here we go. I'm messing with the throttles, looking at the boost gauge. In case you really need to know what manufacturer this car is, big Ford logos. past the first spooky death curb. Curve section with no walls. Oh god. Gotta like glance over at the map, try to remember where I'm going here. I barely remembered this section just in time. Yeah, it's, I think that's how large the fields were in, in uh, the first one, Roberta. Pretty sure it was 12 cars. Smooth as my woes going down <laughs> over the dirt. Just like my uh, force feedback noises. Oh, damn it. Titans. Hey, gold first try. Let's go. All 
Oh, nice. I got it by three and a half seconds, almost exactly. That was a really good run. King Fenui. Hell yeah. Alright, so now time for this. Alright, the gold time for the obstacle course is five and a half seconds slower, so... Oh, the Buick special? I wish that were me. Same. Alright, I'm gonna use the not Reynard version of the 206. I'm just gonna use the normal one. For this. Alright. This is the only car I've actually purchased the Step 2 upgrade on. Or... Saving money is nice. Nice and French. Ooh. Ooh la la. Alright. Time for Goofy. Let's go. Yuck. I went the wrong way there. <laughs> I took the narrow path. One cone. Alright, because of the not that large time difference, I'm not expecting much in the way of cone slaloms. It kind of just looks like this kind of cones place to make the turns more narrow. So it's not going to be much of an obstacle course per se. I mean, it's more than what they did with Monaco, at least. All they did at Monaco was add a couple, like, uh, anti-cut cones and one wall in the bus stop. But, like, off the track on the bus stop. This I can actually, like, potentially hit the cones. Uh oh. I hit one. Same that truck. Funny. God damn it. I decided to look at chat, thinking I was safe. Never safe. You know, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't take the opportunity to, like, use cones to, and like, barriers to, like, force you to take the, uh, the off-track paths. Missed opportunity there, to be honest. That would have been funny. Yep. Alright. Hit a lot of cones. I don't think that was too far off the gold. It was like, what, 220? Yeah. 225, considering I hit, like, I don't know, five, six cones. Not bad. Not bad. So. Just get a little cleaner run, and that should be good enough for gold. Alright. There we go. Six or four or six. The beam. All right, here we go. Windmill Hill, tip two. Windmill Hill, uh, obstacle course, air quotes, attempt two. Uh oh, well, there's two cones. I have immediately fucked it. Yeah, 
Of course the 306 would be more reliable. It's got a whole hundred more than the 206. hundred more what? Uh, yeah. Hundred. Thank God. Oh, I fucked it again. Ow. Oh. Keep trying to take like my normal line through that, and there's cones there. I can't do that. Apparently I just take a wide-ass arc into that, uh, corner. Honestly, I know nothing about... ...like, actual reliability or anything about Pojos. I just know that cars look cool, and I drive them in video games sometimes. That, go around. That's fine. Alright, that's gold. Hit a few cones, but that was more than good enough for gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 2003 or whatever. The goofy one that was a four speed. I beat that by six and a half seconds. Well then, so many issues. Damn. Freaking 307. They added a little extra to the 206's ass and suddenly it became just a terrible, terrible car. <laughs> Safety save. So, nine time trials to go. Uh, next up are the reverse water bridge trials, and then reverse windmill hill. And then the rally arena. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and buy the reverse water bridge shit. For, uh, money. And, uh, let's just, let's just go. Tarmac challenge three. sensing a pattern here. The uh, segment challenge is in Rally 2 and then the full stage and the obstacle course are in Rally 1 cars. Alright. Here we go. In our Fiat 500F. Okay, enough. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, the Fiat might be a little too slow for this. Because that wasn't that bad of a run, and I was still, like, nearly two seconds off. 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab a different car. We'll just, we'll just grab something else. I guess, eh. We'll do the Alpine again. Look, the RSX would be a little too easy. Alright, let's try this again in the Alpine this time. Look at those orange ass rims. Alright, let's go. V, it felt great in the corners, this just doesn't have enough power. Faster, holy shit. Be the Fiat by three seconds. For a day. Gravy. Alright. I didn't get any good corner bonuses. This is bullshit. Oh well. Let me talk to it. Yeah. Alright, time for the full stage reverse. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't driven the Mini yet, so I guess we'll drive the Mini yet. Goofy Stefan's Goofy fucking Tune Mini rally car. Literally converted this bitch to all-wheel drive. Actual mad lad. Your opinion on Suzuka Circuit safety standards as far as modern racing goes? I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about that. Follow Super Formula, so. And I don't go on. I don't use Twitter anymore, so I don't just see a million fucking candid crash videos anymore. The important question is where on the track did it happen? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I help. Uh, 130R. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. one of those things where it's like it's hard to think like there isn't really much they can do because of the land and also if they attempted to reprofile the turn they would Japan would just all kill each other the entire country of Japan would just cease being through arson Cars 
130 locked wheels. Clearing the fence out. Oh, fuck. Uh. Unfortunately, that is the uh, risk of having a bridged section of track. I guess they need to raise the fences. All silver. Alright. I mean, that didn't feel like a very good run, so silver is not surprising. Three seconds off of gold, however, is a little bit surprising. Found a couple tenths, but not three seconds. <laughs> I, need, I need seconds, not tenths. I did lose a lot of time for just from this car just wiggling. I'm just kind of driving a lot of these corners suboptimally. definitely one of the tougher parts of this stage to keep the car in control. This is the other tough part. This car does not do subtle. It doesn't like soft steering. It. With the decreasing radius, I failed. So way too soon. This car is very difficult to control. Vince from Cena 240. Can't believe just someone just rolled up with that specimen. Just booked on an open trailer. Actually crazy. This is gonna be close. Yeah, there we go, we got it. the freaking supercharger sticking out. Mm. Nut. Mm. Yeehaw, excuse me. Alright. I needed to gain three seconds, I gained four. <laughs> I did not think I had it in me. I had that much time in that car, but here we are. So... On to our last of the Tarmac Rally Stage Water Bridge Trials. It's time for the Reverse Optical Course. Oh boy! This one ought to be interesting. Um, pretzel. I drive the pretzel. Let's do some cone dodging. Yet again.
Oh shit, alright, here we go. Oh god, oh god, alright. Immediate with this just Cone Slalom. Cone chicane. Oh, hit, hit a cone. Damn it. Ooh, almost hit several more. Oh, I gotta go in the dirt. Oh, I hit like two or three cones there. Wasn't ready for the game to fully need for speed portion unleash me and just force me onto the dirt. But that's what happened. Oh, God damn it. Oh. So the car just said no. It just said absolutely not. All right, I'm going to restart. I don't know why, but that section there, going this direction, the car just loses the rear so easily. By car, I mean cars. Man, he did it. This car's doing it. I'm sure the other cars will do it. Slightly more timid this time. I'm trying not to hit shit. I said try not to hit shit. Oh! Oh god, alright. I hit a piece of the wall that was sticking out, I guess. This is a hairpin. Not a, that's not a fast sweeper, it's a hairpin. I just hit like three cones. It's all unraveling very quickly. Right. Here's where I just lost the car. I hit a cone, goddammit. Alright, back to uncharted territories. As in, I don't know where the cones are gonna be. There's a lot of there's a lot of just forcing me wide and off the road here. Oh, that was that was spooky. Oh shit! I guess Nanko decided that turn was hard enough without cones everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm hitting more. Wow. I chose the wrong lane. <laughs> Fuck, this section will let you breathe here, yeah. For real. Jump scare. That was nowhere near close to gold. Oh, it wasn't even silver, fuck. Okay, well, I only have to improve by 14 seconds, that's all. Smile. <laughs> Just fucking here we go. Maybe, maybe don't hit a entire line of cones. Maybe don't do that. Alright. 
This time for real. It's just, I'm just mentioning how I kind of got all this leading up to the forest section down pretty well, and then I go and immediately fuck it up. I'm just hitting an entire line of cones. Good job, me. really overshoot that turn. Only slightly overshot it. Whew. That was spooky. Okay. Just nice and smooth through here. Alright, cool. Didn't touch any of the cones. Actually slow down for this left-hander. Oh my god, I'm learning. It's a miracle. Wide here. Good. Nice suit. Through these narrow gates. Cool. That was really smooth. village. Now here's where things start falling apart. I start hitting a lot of cones. This section especially. Okay, that was good. That was slower, but it was a lot safer. And in the end, I gained time from going a little bit slower and not hitting things. But that's good. I intentionally ran wide there so I could kind of Turn down. Get a tight line underneath the cones. I think I might have it this time. It's a 246 I need. And we're going to get a 243. There we go. This needed to drive with a lot more discipline. And the gold was mine. That was actually a fun one. I like that one. Because again, it, it actually kind of strayed me off the road and shit, which was cool. So. That was all the water bridge time trials. Let me just save real quick. Saving to memory card, PS2, and memory card, slot 1. Surprised it didn't say memory, 8 megabyte memory card, PS2. That's usually what it says. Alright, so. That, onto the Windmill Hill Reverse time trials. Go ahead and purchase these. 4,200, 11,700 for the full stage. And 19,2 for the uh, obstacle course. Alrighty then. Well, let's do this. 35 seconds for our segmented run. And I'll drive the RSX. Fuck it. Drive the Ursex. Alright. Here we go. Time for dirt time trial. <laughs> That was a poor imitation of the dirt sounds and force field, whatever. Let's do this. Ready? Start! Hey, what's the clock ticking sounds? The clock timer hasn't started yet. Okay. Through 
here. That was kind of really slow. It felt really slow. Yeah, it was silver. Okay. I thought like the car was just bogging. It's too low RPMs in the uh, lower gear, but or higher gear, but too high in the higher gear. So, half a second off the gold time. Let's uh, let's let's, let's get the gold. Okay. Okay. Felt like I had a splinter in my in the palm of my hand. I don't know why. Anyways, let's give this another shot. I know what I did wrong, so I just gotta not do that again. Uh, I turned in too soon. God damn it. Let's do something else wrong instead. I guess. Super wide this time. There we go. Is this gonna be enough? Yes, it is. All right, cool. That's, that's his territory. <laughs> Y'all in my fucking territory. That be that be cat behavior. Okay, that wasn't bad. A couple attempts. On to the full stage trial. 2 minute 14 is the gold time. I'll drive the Raynar 206, why not? Why not? Oops. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Button, 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 So I gotta remember how to do the stage without the guidance of my co-driver. Oh no! Let's just go ahead and restart. I know for a fact that that's not gonna be a gold now, so let's just restart and try that again. It's the actual first try now this time, okay? Okay. Tee hee. Didn't happen. Oh, wall. I almost made the exact same mistake. Holy shit. I actually kept it on the bridge this time. Supposed to slow down for turns. Uh, my brain blue screen there for a moment. I definitely just blanked out. Okay, I should know how to do this section. I just did it quickly in an RSX. Let me do it slowly in a 206. My oh, fucking god. Lead to fifth. Oh! I forgot how that section goes. I completely forgot about that. Don't 
Don't fall off the side. I almost fell off the side. That's tighter than you think, you stupid bitch. Oh, this is a terrible, uh, terrible run. One last mistake for across the line, why not? But I got gold. Uh, this car is very fast, and the time was a 2.14. I, I still managed to beat it by three seconds despite driving like absolute garbage trash. Oops. Okay. One more to go, and it's the obstacle course. Ooh, this one's gonna be goofy. The gold time is 31 seconds slower. But we're gonna be doing some shit here. Hopefully this will make up for the, uh... I'll drive the focus. The, uh, forward... course just being some cones narrowing the turns. Nothing else really special about it. Alright. Here we go. Let's see how goofy this is going to be. No, it crashed. Damn it. Okay. Let's try this again. Hopefully the game doesn't crash this time. It was like right at the end. Like it was almost loaded in. Anyways, uh, obstacle course. Oh god, I can already see, uh, yeah, it's gonna be way different than the other Windmill Hill one. God, there's just cones laying about in places. Now the gold dime is half a minute slower. So I'm expecting some shenanigans, like falling off the bridge. I don't think that was intended, but it definitely wasn't. Oh well, let's just keep going. See what awaits me on this adventure. Uh oh. Two more cones. Okay. A little spooky. Oh, what is happening here other than me hitting stuff? I don't know how I didn't touch that one. Random wall. A wall there. Coney Island, my favorite Mario Party minigame. Ice Queen. Uh oh. I forgot about this section. I literally could not see what the cones were. But I hit one. Reaper. Oh, I hit the wall and it sent me straight into the cone. Oh, Scott's video finally exported. It's the switch. It's, it's about the switch, isn't it? Oh. Oh my, this is narrow. Oh my goodness. I lived, bitch. I went the wrong way. It's not the direction I was supposed to go through that. Yeah, switch 60 retrospective, oh boy. They'll leave them where they lie. Oh, damn it. I still first try gold somehow. Alright. That was whack E. Which can't keep 
wouldn't it? It'd be about five seconds. Damn. All right. Okay, we'll save this replay. I guess. Oh my god, I'm in the double digits. Ah yes, 1A. I wonder when the last time a racing Let's Play of mine it went more than 10 streams. Probably GT Sport. R4 was before GT Sport, so... Yeah, Xcode. Oh, fuck me. I mean, okay. Alright, so because the game crashed, I have to redo, redo those two at some point. Unfortunate, but... Oh well. So, three more time trials, and they're at the uh, Rally Arena. Super special stage. Let's just go ahead and purchase those for their prices that you see on screen there. You have eyes. You can read. I'm expecting too much. Uh, people on the internet cannot read. Anyways, so... First up is a segmented run. I'm guessing it's going to be half a loop. Maybe just one loop, judging by the time required. We'll see. So, I'm going to bring out the Julia for this. And do my tuning, my setup stuff, remove the uh, assists, and you know, I'm on bada bada. Let's go. Go to the arena. A super special arena. Okay, almost a full loop in the right lane. Almost, but not quite. That might have been a little slow. It's fine. It's mostly me trying to remember where in the lap I am. So I've managed to get this track down fairly decently without the co-driver just by driving it. So hopefully there won't be much growing pains as far as learning the track unguided. Whoop. There's the finish line. And gold first try. Nailed it. Nail apostrophe D by two seconds. Very good. N no course outs. Hooray, I did it. In this completely walled in course. All right, so that was a segment of run. Now for a full lap. Full double loop lap. Two minutes 36 is our target time. Which I don't think is that bad. I think some of my better times are in like the 234 range, I want to say. 235, 34. I don't know. I'm going to drive the uh, 206 for this. The not. Sergey Reynard 206. And let's do this. Here we go. Time for a super special solo run. My buy run. The tournament, clearly. Turn Chimkin, oh hell yeah. That's a wall, by the way. Now I know. Oh, 
god, I am forgetting. Ought to be super in this special. Okay. Fingering it out again. Never mind, I'm unfingering it out. God damn it. Link. This do be the nineteen ninety nine version of this car. Right, one seventeen on the first loop. So I just need like a one like eighteen, I think, on the second loop. Oh, I went for the later apex there, and what I did was just overshoot the corner. <laughs> Dude, I am stoked. My mother made taco salad, and I will be consuming a lot of it. gonna have a big ass plate during a uh, lunch break. I'm stoked. Speaking of only W's, uh, gold on first try. The 231.69. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Very good, very good. Okay, one more time trial to go. In this mode, other than the cleanup, and other than the this, the, the crash recovery is complete, so. Time for the Rally Arena Super Special Challenge. Super Special Special Challenge. The, the triple S. It's only two time trials, Leah, and they were easy time trials, so it's not that bad. Uh, I'm gonna drive the Subaru for this one. I didn't bother to look at what the gold time was. We're just we're just gonna fucking send it and see what ha see what awaits me. So uh, let's -a go. To the Rally Arena Super Special Special Challenge. I see. Immediate cone in the face. Huh? Oh, blood the cone. Alright, so far we just have choose cones. Our racing had choose cones before NASCAR had choose cones. Will we choose this time? Choose the strong Subaru. There's more. I think this specific one is like either probably like Petter Solberg. I'm guessing that's all this this challenge is going to be, just choose cones. Late at intervals. Yep. Is Pastrana even doing rallying in like 2002 or whenever? Whatever year this car is. Okay, 
So very good chance I don't get gold here because I have hit a few cones. Say that Phobos. Apparently I use the middle of the track a lot. Yeah, unless this is like one of the last cars they like licensed and modeled for this game, because this came out in 03. I don't think it's a Pastrana car. Very possible that I'm wrong though. I'm, I'm very good at being confidently wrong. Everything's better with Petter. Hey, gold first try, let's go. Get it. Okay, it was a 242 for the gold, so I beat it by second and just under a half. Cool and sweet. Excuse me. Let's save. I don't know why I like the... The, the ambient car sounds in the menu. I mean, I do know why. It sounds cool. Anyways. So, that's all the time trials complete. Ignore this. We'll, we'll fix that. So, all 40 time trials are complete with gold. That just leaves 10 single races and 5 tournaments. Let's do let's do the single races. Let's get all the rallying out of the way. So we got two challenges to do at Water Bridge, two at Windmill Hill, then two each other reverses, and then two at the uh, arena. So I'm guessing it's going to be rally two, rally one, rally two, rally one, rally two, rally one. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Chance of finishing tonight? Mm, probably not, considering how long the tournaments take. Alright, so Tarmac Rally Challenge 1. So the AI... My opponents are going to be in Rally 2 cars. I'm not allowed to use a Rally car. I have to use a, a road car. A Tarmac racing car. Silver for Rally. Rally 1 for Bronze. However... We've done this before. I've already I've done this once. I know exactly what to use. The drag car, yes, clearly. We're gonna use the uh, the dome here, the Condo S101. These prototypes are allowed for gold, so I'm gonna use this prototype and get gold. Haha. <laughs> Ha ha he he ha ha hoo ha ha. Tee hee. Tee hee. Alright, let's go. Namuko. Here we go. Time to beat 20 people in Rally 2 cars in my LMP. Fair. Fair and balanced. What if the tee hee thing I did uh, last stream with the Bentley, what if well, that was a requirement by the game? Turns out it was a requirement by the game. And I beat Rally 1 cars with the Bentley, so this ought to be easy. It's literally, it's, it's the Penske Porsche. It doesn't have the power, but it's light and it can fucking turn. Ooh, that's a wall. To put into perspective, I'm the I'm going against cars like the Acura RSX and the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Into 
and the Fiat 500F in a LMP car. Oh my god. I oh, dude, put like put like overly like exaggerated wings on this thing. This thing would fuck her up going up pike speed. Uh I spin. It's been I I spin. Too much thrall title. It's fine. I have a 29 second lead, it's fine. Um, and honestly, any of the events you can use, like the single race events you can use in tournaments, you can use like rally cars, or uh, road cars. Basically anything that allows you to use whatever car you want, you can you can absolutely do this, whether or not it's a viable choice. It may not get you gold, but you can still do it. Keep forgetting how tight the chicane is at the end. Matt Hill right. Alright, I win. Incredible. I can't believe he did it. <laughs> 45 seconds? <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking Advan Condo S101. RSX. Alpine A110. <laughs> Mini Cooper. W one of these things is not like the others, and it won the stage by 45 seconds. <laughs> A polar bear in Arlington, Texas, pretty much. So there's that. Um, you know, I'm gonna actually skip ahead. We're gonna do the the first challenges at each, and then we'll go back and do the second, the the championship instead of the challenge. So let's go to Windmill Hill for number sixty. All right. Okay, this one will be tough. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Because it's the same requirements for gold, but it's on gravel. And road cars don't do good on gravel. I'm thinking maybe if I use one of the all-wheel drive GT2 cars... Maybe? It's like if I use the Evo here. Hmm. We'll give it a shot. This one's actually going to require a little bit of strategy or thinking here. Maybe. Uh, the Alpha, the 156 is front wheel drive. Which front wheel drive could work as well. I mean, the only so far the only road car I've tried to drive on dirt was the Bentley. That mid engine rear wheel drive prototype don't do well on this surface. All right, here we go. grip am I going to have? Oh. Alright, well, the brake's immediately locked up. Oh my god, yep. Yeah, the grip is not a lot here, Chief. These are definitely road, ti er, road tires on a uh, 
dirt surface. Sliding. Weep, weep. Easy lift. And so yeah, this definitely was not the move. Which means... Hmm. Easy lift. So either we go just flat out power in a prototype... I should use I should use the uh, Stefan's 500. Clearly. Oh, we're moving back up. Stuck in ninth position. Oh, a little bit of a less loose surface. No, all the GT1 cars are rear-wheel drive. Honestly, I might just have to use a prototype. Honestly, that simultaneously went better and worse than expected. <coughs> Excuse me. So the winning time was a 2.53. I was seven seconds off. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try prototype. This is true. However, I'm going to use a mid-engine death trap. Oh, I can't use the Audi for this? What the fuck? Game said I'm not allowed to use the Audi R8 for this. This is bullshit. Fine, I'll use the S101 again. again. Much faster car. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see how this handles the, uh, the dirt. My guess is not well. It's okay. Uh, Yes, two motorsport prepared me for this. We did we did a lot of GT racing on dirt tracks. I know I know I know what to do here. Right, I'm actually off to a slower start than the Evo, but I'm also being very more very very much more careful. I'm just gonna keep it in third gear to try to not be on like basically use peak power, and therefore spin the tires more. Sheer just power, just an acceleration. Oh, oh, e, ooh. Oh, the car's getting awkward. The car's getting really awkward. Yeah, 
big Monkasteer moment. I'm still leading, barely, but I'm leading. Okay, get on the straight, I can stretch the legs again. I'm only a tenth behind. Go. This is terrifying. I gained two seconds just by existing on a straight piece of road. Oh, we got a hard surface here. This is fucking hilarious. Six seconds. When in doubt, just use a prototype. <laughs> there we go. Incredible. Actually amazing. <coughs> Holy shit, I won by eight seconds. I did it. That's fucking hilarious. All right. With that, on to our next event. Which I have a feeling is going to be more of the same, as we're going to head back to uh, Water Bridge. It's time for the reverse track. Go ahead and buy this. Yep, more of the same. All right. This one will be super easy because it's tarmac, so... Uh, I want to drive a GT1 car this time. Not just any GT1 car. I'm gonna try the... I'm gonna drive the Fiat. I'm gonna try to drive Stefan's uh, Fiat 500. What could possibly go wrong? I ask knowing that a lot can, can and probably will go wrong. There we go. The best idea, clearly. There we go. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I I, I entered this race in a Fiat 500, just like you guys. It's totally the same car. Don't, don't worry about the acceleration in the straights, it's the same car. second lead and it's through the slow twisty bits. Into easy ride. Yeah, turns out putting 300 horsepower in a Fiat 500, it don't fuck around. Oh no, I lost time. section is. It leads up to 17 seconds. The greatest cheating scandal in our racing history. Fuck they got. Fuck that 76 got under the hood of that Fiat.
be a shame if I uh, blew my motor before they had the time, before I had the chance to inspect it. TV. Which is an actual thing that has happened in motorsports in NASCAR. I think it was like during the 80s or something. Man's literally won, I think, the all like the all-star race in that year, and then immediately blew his motor. On purpose, probably. By probably, I mean definitely. It was probably a Junior Johnson car, because Junior Johnson always cheated. Like, he was famous for it. Anyways, that was a uh, totally normal and completely not... It was a totally legal uh, uh, Fiat 500 for that. Yeah. Yeah, Daryl Waltrip, yeah. So let's go to Windmill... Oh my god, Windmill Hill. Was it Junior Jones? Of course, so yeah, it was illegal. That engine was definitely a cheat. Alright. Time to get dirty again. In my... Um... Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna drive the Bentley. Just to change things up a little bit, since I can't drive the fucking Audi, because Audi are cowards. Let me drive your prototype on dirt, damn it. Here we go. At least it's an Audi engine. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, alright. Gotta be, gotta be very mindful of my throttle input. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, the Bentley does not like this at all. We are last. Bentley is very not a fan of this. Alright, just take advantage of the harder surface to accelerate. Oh. Maybe, maybe... Maybe, uh... Maybe don't stab the throttle as the car is lightening up over the crest of a hill. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Honestly, I'm not even seeing turbo lag, I'm just seeing throttle input. Better start. I just gotta be very, very careful on the throttle. But you can tell by looking just at those two uh, horizontal bars below the car. Stop the car. This is the intended way to get gold, by the way. <laughs> Namco wanted you to do this. Into 
Uh. Namco do be silly sometimes. <laughs> and easy. Keep it in third gear. Let's fuck it. Almost forgot about that crest. Yeah, just sometimes. this turn. Alright. Don't fall over the side. I successfully did not fall over the side. Dude, this has got to suck on, a, on an actual dual shock. Like, I'm definitely having a way easier time with the wheel. I have way more control over my throttle modulation and steering input. Could imagine trying to do this on a dual shock. Flying finish. We did it. Bentley rally. <laughs> I am driving a Bentley speed in on a dirt track. That's what's what the game wanted me to be. Do. I wasn't allowed to drive any rally cars if I wanted gold on this, so, uh... I went with the fastest non-rally car. <laughs> and I won. Hooray. Car not explode, because, uh, this is a video game and damage does not exist in this video game. Alright. One more of these goofy, ah, uh, events, and it's at the, uh, Super Special Arena. And it's more the same. Road cars for gold, Rally 2 for silver, Rally 1 for bronze. Alright, well, here we go. A drag car, obviously. It just Ross Chastain it, pin the throttle, and just ride the wall. we go. I gotta be, I gotta share a track with someone else in this. Someone else is gonna look over to his left and be like, what the fuck? Why is that here? Here we go. Ready. This bit's tarmac, so... Have grip and then no more grip. I got the launch, it's fine. Back to nice and easy. Smooth, firmly grasp it. This requires a pretty decent amount of, like, focus and... Right foot discipline. Like you, can, you can tell by my throttle input that I'm never really going full throttle unless I'm going completely straight for quite a while. Or if I'm on the tarmac, which we're approaching now. I gotta have grip for like 10 seconds.
Up. You know, this this uh, this song really fits with what's going on here. There, there is a glitch in the matrix. And the song is reflecting that, clearly. Yeah, there is a chance that I might win this. But it's 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 more than zero, that's for sure. At least three. <laughs> for Dale. That's why I'm in third gear, just for Dale. That's not actually why. Oh, be the drag car. <laughs> oh, clearly. Actually, if I do it for Dale, I'd be driving the uh, the Corvette. Since he raced one of those at Daytona. He did it. <laughs> This poor Alpha. <laughs> Look at the duality of this, an Alpha Julia rolling up against a fucking Le Mans prototype. In a rally stage. God, I love video games. I love video games that not only allow you, but encourage you to do stupid shit like this. Shout out Namco. That's 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 the great appeal of racing games is Yeah, it's cool to do, you know, to reenact like realistic race uh situations, but it's also hilarious to do goofy shit like put a prototype on a dirt rally stage. And just go. So now that those are done, it's time for the rally championship uh, races. Let's go by the uh, water bridge one. All right, this one. Hmm. This one's a little different. So I have two options here: either be a bastard in a prototype again, or use a rally two car. Rally one is for silver. Hmm. I think since on at Water Bridge, since it's tarmac, I can get easily get away with a GT car. Uh, we'll probably try that out at Windmill Hill, Leah. All right, this time we're doing it for Dale. We're going to drive the Corvette because I don't know if a prototype can outrun a Rally One car. I was beating barely beating the Rally Two cars by like a couple seconds at Windmill Hill. So I might have to use the uh, the RSX. I might have to upgrade the RSX as well. Dale. It's a Grand Sport livery instead of the Corvette Racing Yellow, but close enough. It's a C5R. Here we go. Oh, that day. Easy this Corvette has a lot of grip. Um, possibly. I'm sure there's like a World Challenge Corvette in Forza 1, because there's a lot of uh, speed world, world Challenge cars in that game. Not first anymore. Oh my god. Alright, this surface is a lot looser than the road we were started on. Nice. 
spin me tires. Oh, that's a wall. Definitely uh, fighting for grip in this uh, older road surface. Perfect. Well, nah, it's definitely the road surface. I mean, it, part of it is the turn, but the road surface is definitely like doesn't have as much grip. Oh, Koba, yeah. Yeah, the, the co-pilot numbers is equivalent to the tightness of the turn. Or in the case of this game, easy, medium, and hairpin. And hard. I think there's a hard in there. I tried to lose, but I won. What's this 76 pulling up in a damn Corvette for? I won by four seconds despite spinning. Take that battle toe. Okay. land good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other water bridge one. Just get get the super goofy shit out of the way and then we'll go on to the try hard stuff, I guess. Cuz I have a feeling I probably the fastest car I'll be able to use for gold will be the rally 2 cars. So, uh I'm going to go back to GT1 for this. You know, I haven't driven this specific Viper yet. I haven't driven a uh, Dave Miller's Viper yet. I'm gonna drive Dave Miller's Viper on a rally stage. Fuck it. Dodge Stealth. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Big Funkies moment. Through. Seventy-five. Easy right. I was, was last in the first sector. It's okay once we get out of the twisty bits. These tight twisty bits will be will be cooking. Possible. Go. 
Yeah, I'm in the lead now. By five seconds. Oh, that's a wall. Oh no. Alright, we're good. Very nearly Austin Powers myself. It's fine. Everything is okay. There's no grip on these uh these cobblestone streets. That's for sure. I'm still leading somehow. Alright. There's the goofy uh, events done. Now I actually have to maybe try. See, damn right. Damn right. Hold on by nine seconds. Not bad. Okay. Well, question is, how difficult are these dirt events going to be? How hard will I have to push? How close to 90% are we now? I missed 76.5, by the way. Fuck. Alright, so if I add in the 0.3% or 0.6 from the two time trials I have to redo, we're at exactly 90%. Let's go. Alright. Three to go. Two at Windmill Hill and one at the Super Special. Let's go ahead and buy this. Going against Rally 1 cars, and I'm pretty sure... Rally 2 will be my best bet. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go to the Performance Shop. We're gonna upgrade my uh, my RSX. So thirty thousand for stage one power and torque for a little bit. Fifteen thousand for this. And actually, the stage two upgrades are not that expensive. Let's do the stage two weight reduction for hundred four thousand. Which had an extra forty seven pounds off of this thing. That was 142 grand worth 5 horsepower and 3 pounds of torque. Nah. <laughs> Damn. Aha. Pretty much all it <laughs> This is probably the best of the Rally 2 cars, the RSX. The rest are just old shit. Tomahawk GTSR hypercar. Oh god, yes. Oh god, yes. I would mega nut if that happened, Gravy. Alright. Here we go. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. How much will I need to sweat for these events, these last three single race events? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. at the start, but that's probably mostly because of the front-wheel drive launch. Easy run. Easy run. <laughs> Excuse me. Easy Holy left. fuck. Alright, we're good. Crest. Left. Maybe. 
Don't, don't fall off the edge. Oh, we're up to eight. We're making moves. We're still eight. We stopped making any moves. That's because that was a straight, straight away. Definitely have to make up a hundred, like all of my time in the turns. So I gotta nail the corners. I see a glimmer of hope. We might be in there. We've got a couple long straights though. Seconds. This is looking good. Hell yeah. We are we are in there. I just keep gaining time now. I am what the kids call him. Before I win. In the lower class vehicle. Let's go. That moment when a junior WRC driver wins overall. Or car. I won by four seconds too, damn. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Big gaming. We just gotta do that two more times. No course outs. I would hope not. Can't like when GT car wins at Daytona. Shout out to the Porsche 911. Alright. 20,500 20, for the uh, Windmill Hill Reverse. So same situation. Everything but Rally 1 for Gold. Rally 1 for Silver. We'll drive the RSX. I probably could pull this off in an upgraded in the, in the Alpine, but I'm going to not. I'm just gonna stick with what works here because this is actually some high effort driving here. So here we go. Second to last single race event. Challenge. Event challenge. Challenge event. Event. Easy lift. A challenging challenge. The challenges of the challenging challenge. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, not last at the first gate. Incredible. Oh, God damn it. I missed the bridge. <laughs> Out of date gravy. I'm refusing, I'm, I'm ignoring it because it's been, it's been spammed many times. Ah, damn it. 
I thought I set that up perfectly. I did not turn right enough. It's fine. Alright, fourth place. for a moment. I thought I was going to fly, fly off the side. Oh. Keep forgetting that that left is tighter. I don't think we got it here. Well, maybe. Unfortunately, it's full throttle to the line, so I don't know. Got it. First try, baby. Let's go. First place. By how much? One tenth of a second over Stanley Warham. Ham? Warham 40k. Ham? 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 Damn. All right, one more single race to go of our 67. Ham warmer 40k. So one more. Oh, this is going to be two laps as well. Two full laps around the uh, super special arena. Again, everyone but rally one for gold or everything but rally one for gold. in there, Ham. Hmm. Actually, you know what? The Alpine has pretty similar stats on the, the bar chart as the, the RSX. It just has slightly less or worse braking. Fuck it, I'm driving the Alpine. See if I can win this with the Alpine. Let's go to our final 67th and final single race challenge. Kind of lies. Would never lie. I don't know what you're talking about. Video games don't lie to you. Here we go. That's a wall, by the way. I think I'm going against the Pojo. I saw white, a white roof and what looks like a hatch roof. Like a hatchback. Not entirely sure. This force feedback is making my right ear pop a lot, by the way. It's an interesting sensation. together on the crossover. Alright, I got the advantage after the first half lap. Three loops to go. Whip, 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 whip,
across the rear. <coughs> Poppins the clown to destroy. Great. I don't know who that is, but Gravy really just saying he wants the Clussy. Incredible. that lap. Unfortunately, the context did not help at all. bit further ahead on the map than I was last lap. That's a wall, by the way. <clears throat> Maybe don't hit those. Alright, we got a final loop. One more trip around the arena. up here last time. Much better that time. Much better. Much more contained and controlled slide as well. Speaking of creepy as fuck characters, um, Abaddon, that's all. Just wanted to give them a shout out, because Abaddon is fucking cool. Hey, we did it! I think so? I wonder if they still come out the living dead girl. Oh boy. To fucking beat the zombie. Well then. We fucking did it. It was a 206, I was right. Let's save. Let's save. I also want to check something. Alright, what's our percentage at? 
90.3 adjusted 90.9. Okay, cool. Like I needed, I was, I was desperately looking to check some. I was wanting to check. Uh, I thought I saw this. Yeah, Abaddon's uh, pronouns are they, them. By the way. I'd go to their uh, Twitter bio. Alright, anyways, uh, single races, all 67 done. Gold. Woohoo, we did it. <coughs> we are so gaming, so... Uh, other than, let's, let's assume that this is already gold, because it, it will be. Uh, time trials are done, one, one makes are done, tours are done, rivals are done, extra challenges are done, all that's left are five more tournaments. And uh, the event challenge will be complete, 100%. Hell yeah. So, we got two at Yokohama, two at Monaco, and then a drag tournament at Surfside. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get the drag tournament out of the way. So, everything except prototypes for gold and then prototypes for silver. I'm going to guess that I should use a drag car for this. 51,000 for entry, by the way. But to purchase. Considering the default class is drag, I assume the, uh, the final will be against a drag car. Alright, haven't driven the Focus yet, so we'll drive the Focus. Drove the RX-7 last time we did some drag events. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. Oh no, I gotta change my brake bias. Okay, so it's got stage 2 power and stage 1. Weight reduction already equipped. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's do some straight lining. <clears throat> yeah, nitro time. <laughs> I really don't have to worry about my reaction time on the tree for any of these. Except for probably the final, so I'm just going to be very careful. Need for speed in the Oh yeah, it's first time here in Stefan tonight. How bad was that reaction? Pretty bad. Stefan. My favorite is when Stefan just screams full throttle. How the fuck did you... Okay. I mean, it's average speed, so, like, whatever. 427 RP. Hmm. Alright, next. Next round. Round to two. <laughs> so close. Got, got, got buff date instead of the curse of test drive. Going up against the Mini Cooper now. There we go. Yes, excellent start. Alright, time for Stefan to scream full throttle at the top of his lungs. <clears throat> nah. He fucking screams so much in these drag races, it's actually hilarious. Good lord. That's an 18 second time. Without using nitrous. But I wanted the no NOS win. Bonus since, yeah. Go! Alright. 
Next victim. Gets the spirit of John Force taking over his ass, yeah. Alright, got him against the Alpha this time. So still in the uh, GT2 cars. Or going against GT2 cars. Or actually, I think I was going against Rally 2 cars at the start. I was not paying attention to the tree. Oh no, he got a better... Oh, look, that's... Out of here, huh? Three down, two to go. One more practice run. I'm still at 18 2 despite my very late launch. Alright. Time for the semifinal. the super this time. I might actually have to use the nitrous for this one. Okay, I'll have to use the nitrous for this one. Go! Ooh, that was actually pretty close. Holy shit. Hello, JPEGs. <laughs> Greetings, spectator JPEGs. <clears throat> we defeated the soup. Barely. I was actually really close. I don't even get a NOS bonus, what the fuck? Whatever. Alright, time for the final. we got oh uh, charger all right focus versus charger I jumped it damn it I was actually trying to pay attention to the tree jumped it slightly good thing I don't have to redo the entire tournament Alright, let's try this again. We have switched lanes. Okay. That's pretty slow off the line. Go! all over. Damn. Alright. I think I need to go through the gears quicker. So you ran a 16.5 basically. Alright. Let's keep trying until I win. They do get a bit of an unfair advantage here because they get perfect reaction times off the tree. Oh well. It's just part of the challenge. Squirt. I think I got him this time. Yeah, baby. There we go. 16-390. Did it. Probably didn't even need to slipstream him. Let's look at that reaction, actually, because that was very good. Yeah, that was real good. Off the tree. Sit, Ma. <laughs> I like how I cut in front of him as I cross the line just to be a bastard. Take that, Greg O'Brien. 
bitch. I don't know. Ooh. A GT2 class GT500. Hello. I forgot you unlock cars from the tournaments. Very nice. It still handles like shit. It's not a whole lot different from the drag car, but... Corba. Baron Corba. <clears throat> Alright. G5T100. Alright, now you're just... naming off computer parts. So, that's done. Um, actually, before I do anything else... I want to go to the, uh... It's my motherboard tanks. Let's spend some money on cars. Because this counts towards completion. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy this Alpha. 208,000. Actually, before I do anything else, I should probably buy the other... Buy the rest of the tournaments. So 36,700 for this one. 61,000 for this one. 36,100 for this one, and then 80,000 for the last Monaco tournament. Jesus. Okay. Now all those are unlocked. Let's buy cars. So that's... Both purchasable privateer cars. Um, let's see. What do we have in the drag class? We have a Charger. We have GT500. Both of those are 480,000. I'll wait on those, actually. Uh, let's see. Rally 1, I'm pretty sure I got, was only the focus. Yeah, Rally 1 was only the focus. Prototype was only the dome, right? Yeah, so I got that. So, GT3. Got a couple to buy here. So we got another livery of the MR2, another version of the MR2. 165,000. And the uh, other titty, red titty. 220,000. Alright, got the RSX. So that's all the GT2, GT3 cars I can purchase. GT2. We have a yellow Pantera of 300 grand. Let's just purchase that. Got the Black Chaparral sort of Elise. 260 grand. And everything else I purchased. That's all the GT2 cars. Cool. GT1. Got the Viper, got the Volkswagen. Got this green Grand Sport Corvette. Actually, the Grand Sport Stripe is more correctly placed on this green one than it is on the blue one. And that's the only one. Okay. 480,000, so... That means the only two cars that are left to actually purchase from the dealer are the two drag cars. They're 460,000 apiece. Oh no, 460 and then 480. So I need 940,000 for the. Oh wait, not available. Oh yeah, it's because I can't afford it. I need 980,000 for those two cars. And I'm going to save because I just bought a bunch of cars and shit. I don't want to rebuy them. Plus, I want to check how much. That increases the uh, completion. So 90.9. Now where are we at? 92.4. Just from buying cars. We're actually at 93 if we adjust for the uh, time trials I need to redo. Alright, well, on that note, let's uh, do a tournament.
at least one of these. So we'll do the uh, first Yokohama Street Circuit turn, turn one. GT2 looks like it's going to be the top class. Rally 1 for silver, GT1 prototype for bronze. Uh, oh, the final's going to be against a drag car. Okay. Let's see? Could use the Shelby. Yeah, I'm gonna use the GT500. Fuck it. Oh yeah, there's a Delore. That's a TC. I, okay. TCS is locked off for this. Fully upgraded. Yeah, there's just a Delorean in this in this game. They just slapped it in GT2. Fuck it. I have a feeling this is going to behave a lot like the drag car. Fast, don't turn that well. Except it's not the drag car, so it sort of turns. Four speed. Actually, it turns better than I thought was expecting. So this first quarterfinal is going to be easy because I'm going against probably a Alpha Julia or something. I missed the breaking zone. Oops. Slight overshoot, it's fine. Championships with like goofy uh, car class formulas are just dead or dying. Okay, we got Trans Am. Oh, all right. That was just the 
quarterfinal. I was going against an Alpine. Okay. Stanley Warham. The ham. Alright, one down, two to go. I somehow managed to not get into a course out on a street circuit. I don't know how. Why is nothing's ever good enough? There we go. GT500 car. It is a GT500. I wasn't going to get the uh, TP. Diddy. Silence Titty Haver. Just kidding. Spectacular steering. Not the silence part. Racing Audi TT. It's a tournament. The first couple rounds are always against like way slower cars. I really hope the final is against a, a Shelby drag car. That'd be very funny. I'm pretty sure the final is going to be against a drag car of some flavor. I just don't know which flavor. Matara, Roach Mommy. Late breaking can cause spins. Be careful. And live, laugh, hee hee. Give her cliffs back in my algorithm. Most of my algorithm has been filled by weird po random Pokemon videos and uh, Tenma clips. Literally, it's like, it's like racing videos, fucking random like Pokemon gameplay streams from people with like 20 subscribers. In like random ass VTuber clips from the Shoujo and Hollow. Everything's great. Acceleration, breaking and handling. And then YouTube trying to get me into the uh, the negative video brain rot hole. Why this Pokemon game sucks. Racing crash compilation. And then there's the conspiracy debunk videos that I watch. All right, time for the final. Who we who we lining up against, and what we lining up against?
Nothing, because the game crashed. God damn it. God damn it. Son of a bitch. So, now that we've finally made it back... Back to... Uh, the final round of this tournament, after redoing those two races. Let's actually finish this tournament. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, cool. So, anyways. Uh, racing as a Charger. Not quite the Shelby, but still a drag muscle car. We're at a two in time. God damn, Laura. Alright, so, drag class Dodge Charger versus a GT2 class Shelby Cobra. Or not Cobra, Shelby uh, GT500. Shelby Mustang. You'll probably have to fight a little bit, especially since your car can't fucking turn. Mine can't really turn that well either, but it can it can like actually turn. Unlike yours. Nice However, he's doing a good job staying ahead of me. Oh, it's O'Brien again. So close. So close to him just eating shit in turn one. Not quite, though. I'm about to break it a bit at Lincoln Park. Oh, hi, how you doing? Greetings, Mr. O'Brien. Still love tap. Speed up before he comes back. Oh, there he go. Can you though? You can handle it until you actually have to turn the steering wheel. Actually, considering how they like to dive into this turn, I can I can see that. I don't know how I held the spot, but I held it. Don't let him slip by you. Nice timing on the brakes. I still hit the wall. Good. Good job, mate. Oh, hi. How you doing? some blocking here. Uh, no, I got it. Right. No blocking necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I wind. Take that Greg O'Brien. I win and I got money. Money. Ooh. A GT2 RX7. Hello. So many GT2 cars, holy shit. Big nut. Alright. <laughs> well, now that I completed that tournament, let's do another save. I 
Actually, this would be good to see how much a, a car gives us. Gives us 0.2%. We got 0.3 for the gold. And another 0.2 for the, uh, the RX-7. Okay. So we're at 92.9, adjusted for the two uh, time trials after redo. We're at 93.5%. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. Speaking of cars, let's look at our garage. And, uh, see how much we got. So. Still missing a Corvette, a Viper, whatever that. Oh, that's the NSX. There's another Celine. Is that? We got one, two, three, six cars missing in GT1. One, two, three, four, five missing in GT2. One in GT3. Two prototype. One, two, two in Rally one. One in Rally 2. Uh, one, two, three. Three drag cars, which two of those are I have to buy. And then two privateer cars. I'm guessing most of those I'm going to have to re unlock from, or unlock from redoing the story chapters. And then there's three from tournaments, and then two I have to buy. that we're going to uh, stop here so um, again I have to redo these time trials which should take very little time at all because they were pretty pretty easy um, so all that's left are three tournaments and then whatever car then finishing out the car collection so I guess next time might be the last uh, last stream of this game Perhaps. So. Because all we gotta do is these last three tournaments and then whatever else I need for 100%. So, uh. Yeah, next time on R Racing Evolution. The last time on R Racing Evolution. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho.